for me in there, look. Another one? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at oh, the fuck me. I want out of here. He must know that. We, it's also our right no, of way. It's our right of way. Because right? we're a sailboat. So. He's coming right from here. We can't go anywhere. If we were and motoring, yes, it's not our right of way, but we are, we're sailing. So. He's like coming right in front of yeah, us. Yeah, yeah, he did exactly the same yesterday. He's really nasty. Yeah. I don't understand. Yeah, he's doing the same He's yes blocking our way. Yesterday he was doing the same. He doesn't answer the radio and he goes in front of us just at purpose, no matter what I do. He goes in the collision course. Last night was exactly the same. He pushed me, pushed me, pushed me. That that almost wanted to push me into an island. I was just within 500 meters from an island. And he's doing exactly the same now. Look, he's just hanging around in there. Yeah. yeah. He was going really fast and now he just stopped right in front of us. Why? We are about uh, six hours from Monastir. It's the last day. We were called earlier on by the Coast Guard. Our uh, last port of call was Kalamata, Greece. Our next port of call is uh, Monastir, Tunisia. Number of crew, two. Thank you very much, Tanner 16. And then they just say it's fine, you can proceed to, uh, to Monastir. And uh, at the moment we're sailing, we were air motoring earlier on for about an hour, because it was a school and the wind was right in the nose. But we didn't want to waste more time, to be honest, uh, tacking. So we had to press on. But now we're cruising along. Test done, wait for it, do our paperwork and probably pass out for another 12 hours before we do anything. It's not the most pleasant of all days as well. And there's a lot of schools going coming and a lot of rain passing through. So Whoa, that was nerve wrecking. We only just Missed this boat, this line was too short, almost ran into this boat and almost ran into the pier. It was an ordeal though. And we got a line on the propeller. But someone is bringing us pizzas. Yeah, we're so hungry. And our gas is running out slowly, so I don't even know if we can cook. We're very lucky with the gas. I like what I see. Yeah. I'm your cabana boy. <laughs> There you are. <laughs> You're getting the barnacles away? I'm cleaning David Jones' locker. Mm. Remember, we came here, we, we took the, the mooring line. It I, looks like... I took the mooring line! <laughs> it, looks, it looks like Will's father. Yes. With strap bill. The strap bill we took out of the marina. Oh man. That was... That was definitely David Jones' locker. Mm. And then he left it all in there. So. Some people shouting out there. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> really scary all the time. I think they're just talking to each other, but it sounds scary. <laughs> they're cleaning the marina. <laughs> we just took money out. <laughs> it's 
so many of these countries have a currency that's just ridiculous. I'm sure you get probably a coffee and a donut for this or a burger, but yeah, it looks like a whole big stash of money. They have dinar here and the gentleman behind us said that one euro is three dinar, but I think it's actually even more. I think it's one to seven. We arrived yesterday evening. We were allowed to stay in the boat to wait for our COVID results. And today they ask us to hurry and come to the immigration police to customs. We still have to go to the Capitaneria. Uh, they stamp our passports. We gave them all of our information. They also come to the boat to check everything. And they took our drone. You're not allowed to have a drone in this country at all, unfortunately, so there will not be any drone pictures or images. It's actually all quite straightforward. They send you from one place to another, so you don't get confused. And here in Monastir, we're really lucky because the immigration police, the customs and the Capitaneria, they're all really close together. So you can just walk from one side to the other. Whereas when we checked in and out in Turkey, everything was really far apart. So it's, it's really nice here since we're still kind of tired. So we evaded the tourist trap and found this back alley restaurant. It's really good. Yeah, it's traditional. Yeah. We ordered some chicken with couscous and some salad that we saw with some other gentlemen eating it. So let's hope this is good. It looks fantastic. Mm, that looks amazing, man. Yeah. And the salad looks amazing as well. Yeah. Can't wait. We should be filling our bilge for the Atlantic crossing with all of this dry food. It looks really nice. Everything is so, like you get detergent and underwear and dishes and things like that. A kettle? It will fit on. Kins? 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 Un, deux, trois, quatre. Kins? 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 Ah, c'est con. Oh, they're very nice. C'est con. Cheap. <laughs> Five euro shoes. Those are like six dollars. It's not bad. Look at this gas station. The it. It's actually quite nice. I like it. All with the colors of the drugstore. Nice self-made gas station. The European switch for health and safety. Yeah, a valve here. Yeah, there's a. This is for the little scooter, no? Yeah, for the mopeds. Uh, all around here. Kind of cool. I like it. Our neighbors in the marina told us there is a, a proper food market around here, so we don't have to go to the supermarket, and we're just going to get some veggies for our system. Oh wow, I see a lot of sweets. I don't see anything green. Oh, oh god. Oh, this looks okay. good. Oh, we cannot stay around here. It's dangerous. So five dinar. Five dinar, one dinar, sorry, three dinar is one euro. So a euro eighty. Wow. It's like, it's like thirty cents. Yes. <laughs> kilos of vegetables and fruits we didn't even spend four euros and here's some promotion and I can smell some fish
Куба, 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 на прощаю, Куб Димон. Вара, бей, бей, One second you smell strawberries, and then the next second you smell tuna and fish. <laughs> oh man! I'm making but, a tuna strawberry smoothie today. The, the atmosphere is really cool, and <laughs> yeah. people are having a good time. It's so much better than going to a supermarket. Oh yeah, definitely. honey I've ever eaten. Look at her. He's bringing his workforce with him. <laughs> we have to stay really calm. Yeah. Ah, so he puts them in there and the honey comes out of it. Uh-huh. Oh it's okay, it's okay. Oh god, there are bees everywhere man. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> The bees made it back <laughs> home. Well, they are home. How much? The front dinner. Front? Front dinner. Front? Okay. Uh, this dinner. This dinner. This dinner. Ah, 30 dinars. Uh. <laughs> Shukran. Shukran, monsieur. This place is so beautiful. I can't believe there's so little people actually traveling to this part of Africa. There's hardly any other tourists here. I mean, you see some, but. We're kind of the old ones now. The guys in the in the market, they all started cheering and like like lifting their, their knives and their sables. <laughs> I didn't really know what was going on. But it was good. It was good. A cool welcome to the country, actually. You mean? Second. 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 Oh, second. Okay, very nice. Second. 